Hey guys, it's Gabe here from Fly the Line. Today we are going to be tying the blue damsel fly. Um, I really like this fly. It's representing obviously a blue damsel. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a very cool fly. I learned it from Norm. Uh, I think that's I'm pretty sure that's his name, and it's on his um, YouTube page called Norvice. Um, the Norvice you can use to make a lot of different flies. Um, I'm using it to make. I, I haven't. I don't own one myself. Um, I like them, but you can obviously utilize your own vice to do it too. So um, um, today we're going to be using a, a nymph um, hook. This is that's what it is. That's what it looks like. It has the eye is pointing up, as you can see here. Has the eye pointing up. It's a black nymph hook. Um, it's a very cool. I like this hook too. It's a very nice. Uh, built hook. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use I use two types. I've I haven't used blue yet because I just started tying this fly. This is a blue, light blue. It's Vivas. So the name of it. But I I make mainly use is black, and that's what they recommend. Most people recommend. This is black. This is super fly. I love this stuff. Um, now I'm going to start, I have to get my thread through. Line? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start out right up at the eye. We're going to kind of wrap back and we're going to wrap back just to the bend. We're going to stop. Wraps. Okay. Then you'll grab your scissors. Clip them. Okay. Now I am not. I I'm gonna use my blue damsel tail. I made. I have a video. You guys can check out my video on how to make the blue damsel tail. I'll post the link at the end. Um. And this is what you'll. This is what it looks like. The tail I made. You can make. You make these. Um, and so I'm going to tie it, just see where that b first, the bl at last black line is. I'm going to do like a couple loose wraps, and then I'm going to tie it in nice and tight. You don't want it to go off to the side, so you can just kind of pull that back up. I'm going to rewrap that in. You're going to kind of... Get it in there, and then just kind of cover it up. So, that's gonna, we're just going to kind of tie that in. Then you're going to want that tail to prop up, so you're going to do a couple wraps under the tail, and that will kind of, you'll notice it's kind of popping up like that. There we go. We got a nice prop tail. Next, we're gonna grab some bucktail. I really like this material. We just got it. Um, and so you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a, a good clump, not too much, snip it off just to the ends. And you're gonna just kind of get all those extra fibers out and. Any weird looking fibers and whatever. So you're gonna line it up. You can go a little bit past your tail like that. And all that extra stuff before you tie it in, you can just clip it out. Like that. Next, you're gonna take your line. And you're just gonna kind of do a couple light wraps and then tighten it in. And you want it. You want to keep all those as best as you can. Those fibers on top, above your um, uh, what's it called? Your tail. You 
You want to get that nice and tight in. Ah, shoot. Okay. There we go. And you want to kind of keep that down best as you can against the tail. Oh, I got a couple weird stray fibers. There we go. Okay. Next, we're going to add in our parachute. So we're going to wrap just about to like that middle section. We're going to grab some um, Antron or Poly yarn or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's Antron. I'm blanking out on the name. So clip that off. I'm gonna wrap it around your line. And you just kind of do a couple wraps in the front, in the back. Okay, had a couple of fibers getting in the way. And you'll take your line. Do a couple wraps up and tron. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> This is being a pain in the butt. Okay. I can always build up my post later. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap that just to the end of the buck, the bucktail. Fixing my fibers. And we're gonna grab some Nature Spirit um, Fine Natural Dubbing. This is Damsel Blue. So we're gonna take our wax, put it on our line. And then we take not too much, some dubbing on there. Probably did a little bit much, but I can just make the thinner. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna tie in like this. And then when we get I'm going to keep that body as blue as possible. So we're just going to put some more dubbing on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cover up, build it up just a little bit more. And we're going to leave a little space in front of the eye for our half inch and whip finish. And then we'll wrap around the post. Not too much. We, we just want to keep that dubbing there just so we just have a nice even blue body. We're gonna build up our posts a little bit more. Now, next you're gonna to wanna to get out your hackle. Next you're gonna get out your hackle. Um, I grabbed a nice long piece, and that's how big about how big those are. I grabbed a nice long piece. I already trimmed my barbels. Before I made the before I did the video, and so what you're gonna do is I just got this from my regular piece at Grizzly Hackle, and nothing special. It really is the preference on how big you want this parachute, this little 
parachute deal to be. So I'm going to continue to kind of capture that hackle nicely. Get that captured nice and in there. There we go. Okay. I have a little piece of hackle. My barbell sticking out, so I'm just going to clip that. There we go. Okay. Uh, fixing my toe. Okay. Next, you can grab your hackle pliers, or you can just use. I recommend using hackle pliers for this one. I just do like to use them myself. And so you're going to wrap. Tilted the camera. You should move the camera back a little bit. Okay. So you're going to wrap, and what you do is every wrap, you're going to wrap under the hackle. Okay. I'm going to work with me. I messed up a little bit. And, okay. My hackle kind of got twisted up. Okay. Stay. Okay. Every time you wrap, you're going to wrap under your each wrap. Sorry about that. It takes a little, because it's such a big hackle, it can get a little weird. Okay, I'm gonna kind of shorten up where I'm pinching it at on my hackle wires. Okay. Now you want to go nice and slowly. Hackle's giving me trouble. Okay. You're gonna go, and you're just gonna kind of keep going under each wrap you did. And that kind of builds it up nice and neat. If your hackle cooperates with you. <laughs> okay. That's about good. Well, maybe got my hackle a little big, but as my dad always says, failing is growing. got some hackles stuck below so we're just gonna get up as close as we can and kind of trim those out. Couldn't find it. There we go. Those extra fibers under there. And then I'll zoom out. Okay. Uh, this is not my favorite piece of hackle I've chosen. Let me show you how big it's really supposed to be. I mean, that's about the same size, but. That's what it really looks like. Okay. Now, we're going to kind of get our thread to the front of our eye. 
hanging from her eye. You can do a whip finish around the post if you'd like. I personally don't do it just because I have failed a lot on it. I've been practicing, I'll eventually get it. But I'm just gonna do a couple half inches in front of the eye. I'm gonna take my scissors, clip that out. Then I'm gonna take my fine tip Sally Hansen applicator. There's my Sally Hansen. The nice fine tip. We're gonna just kind of dab that on there. And then to secure this hackle in, is, and we're just gonna kind of go and do a couple drops around that hackle and just let that kind of soak in. And that just kind of holds it together. Next we're going to spin our Antron, clip that, and then poof out our post. And then that is how to tie our blue damsel. I'm actually going to get some of these extra little hackles out. Okay. So that, my friends, is how we tie the Blue Damsel. Um, this is another finished product. This is another one I did. Um, here's what the tail looks like. It's the one I made in my last video on how to make the damsel fly tail. Um, so, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Also, please check out Norman's page. Um, Nor his it's called Nor his his YouTube channel is called Norvice. I recommend you check it out. There's a lot of cool flies that he ties on there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and also um, check out my blog, Fly on the Line Blog Thank you guys so much for watching, and please have a great day.